Hi everyone, my name is Gremlin and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. So today I'm gonna be discussing on how this weird crown thing works and some advice that I can give you to get it easier. Because I've seen a lot of complaints on the discussion forums about survivors thinking it's unfair. That, okay, it's kind of unfair, killers just need to grab it and you actually need to escape. But, um, it's not actually that bad. Um, because if the killer had to kill all four of survivors, there will be a lot of sweaty killers with Morris and you won't be able to get it, so that wouldn't be nice for survivors. And escaping is not that hard and I'm gonna give you some advice because I had some pretty weird matches with some people doing things that they shouldn't, so let's begin by explaining how this weird thing works. There's gonna be this weird pedestals around the maps you can see here in the lobby how it looks just gonna appear only one at a time but if someone interacts with it it will respawn another so don't worry or technically all five players can get the crowning one match i also forgot to mention that it responds every 60 seconds so yeah so as a killer what you need to do is interact with that thing and let the match end i mean you can keep playing normally you or you can just go into the basement and look through a wall and wait till the match ends and you'll have your crown. So, either it's pretty, clear, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy, so be happy. One thing that players have easier than survivors. And then there's survivor that you actually have to interact with the pedestal and escape. That's pretty much how it works. Some recommendations that I would give you as killer is... Play a little bit so that they don't gen rush you that hard and also look a little bit for it so that you increase your chances of finding it. And as a survivor, my recommendation is directly don't look for it. <laughs> because I've had some matches in which people start looking for it at the beginning of the match without doing any gens until they find it. And honestly, it's kind of stupid <laughs> because there's no point of finding it if there's no gens done and you're not gonna escape. Actually, we, we, when I got Max Crown, I had this terrible match. At the beginning, I I did all the gens. We only ended up doing two gens, and it, I did alone both gens. And the survivors were, were spread all around the map, running around like fucking idiots looking for the crown. And the killer just spotted him at the moment at, uh, on plain sight because they weren't being sneaky, they weren't being cautious, so... They got killed, the four of them. And I... I was pretty lucky because when he was chasing the last survivor he knocked him out and I was going closer to get him from the hook and I saw the crown and the survivor killed himself so I just go went to the hatch I was um, I had luck and I was able to get the hatch so yeah my recommendation would be don't actually look for the for the crown let the crown find you you'll eventually find it I actually recorded a match with me I'll show it to you in a moment but you can see more or less what I did, but it's not really that hard, it's not rocket science, you know. So, yeah, and don't give up also because a lot of people is like, Oh, I'm already hooked, I'm gonna die, my whole team is dying, oh, I'm getting tunneled. And you don't actually know if you're actually going to die or, you're, or you might get it. And if you kill yourself, you lose blood points, so... The best option is just keep playing if you're having a bad run, just keep playing till you get it. Trust me, you'll eventually get it. You'll eventually find a real good team and you'll escape with your crown. My tips are don't look, don't actually look for it and just don't give up and keep playing. And let's go to see the match to, so that you have an idea of what I did. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm gonna be narrating the match because I didn't want to speak during the match, so yeah. So beginning of the game, I see the killer, it's a legion, he starts doing the classic legion thing, the wounding people, finding more people to the wound, spreading the, the injuries, and I see chat, um, he starts looking in a chest, I ask him if he wants to be healed, he doesn't want to be healed, so I decide to look for a gen. I find a gen and I look a little bit around to see if I find a crown, there's no crown, so I start doing the gen. Um, right here he downs Fang, um, he was actually coming towards me so I got a little bit far from the gen because I don't know what what's he doing but I get back to the gen um, he shoots Fang and I decide to hide 
as you can see pretty much normal gameplay I decided to hide from the healer so that I can go for the rescue um, he's got pop goes the whistle thing that was kind of annoying during the match but he didn't usually die that often so no problem I save the fang and I decide to heal After a healing thing, I decided to do the gen, and I hear it coming. I don't know what it was, if he was going to look for me or not. He downs um, David, and he decides to bring him to the to the basement. So I wait around the basement, and I get in. I rescue him, kind of fast, but I also didn't kill him. It was kind of a secure rescue. Um. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, here he starts um, um, chasing all, all of us and then he decides to go for me. But I find a loop, a pretty good loop. And so he leaves me alone and I'm just happy and alone to do the gen that it's right there. So I start doing the gen and everything's happiness and yeah, it's... Oh, here! Fan gets down and then she disconnects pretty much fucking fucking us up because there's only one gen done. And there she goes, she deceased and there's three of us. Two of us are hurting, I do the gen until he starts coming towards me. I go to the window and I lock him a little bit in there. Not that much to be honest because he left me. And there I try to use him, doesn't work. He hits me. He goes for, um, I think it's a bit tough, and I decide to mend and heal with my medkit. And then just, I'll resume with the gen, so yeah, this, as I told you, there's not that much difficulty or that much to do. Other than just playing normally, just do your best and you'll eventually find it. I just decided to heal, he was zoning that part. By now I think he started regening us. He started off he he tried to four gen us but he really couldn't. It was there were four gens in a line. So he was in a really good spot, but I managed to finish up that this gen, you'll see eventually when I finish it. So yeah, he pretty much let that gem be done, he started chasing here and I just looped him a little bit again, hoping that my partner will finish another gen. I lost him right there, he didn't know where I was, so it was a really good play. And it was a back and forward for that gen, he went to the gen, he left the gen, I looped him, he tried to catch me, he couldn't catch me. Look, he went for that other gen and I just resumed this gen. Um, yeah, the, as I told you, there's not really that much to say. Another gen gets done, there's now... Um, there's only missing two gens now. I finished up this gen and he starts chasing. I commit a little bit, just enough. I fake the window. He... He buys it. And right here I kind of fucked up a little bit, but I didn't waste that pallet, so I was in a good position to, to make mistakes, actually. Now, here's the worst part of this um, gameplay, is that from now on, it's a 3 gen. Um, it's a back and forward, doing the gen, not doing the gen, doing the gen, not doing the gen, getting hurt, rescuing, doing our best to not get caught. And yeah, pretty much healing and getting far so that he stopped chasing chasing us. And right here is where I find the crown. Um, literally, I just saw it. I just took it. I let um, David heal me, and everything was happiness. Everything was fine for the moment because we still had to do that one gen. But we were all healing right here. We the three of us were healed, and that was pretty nice because. We're in a good position. We had the advantage right now. I mean, no, he 
had the advantage, but we could still do something about it. So here is once again just a back and forward. I start, I tap the gen a little bit. He comes back to the gen. He just hits it a little bit. I'll go back to the gen. I'll just a back and forward. And right here, we finally finished the gen. And um, David had adrenaline, so he distracted the the clear for a little bit. And I, there I saw the killer, and I went back. So Claude was opening the the gates, and he ended up opening them. And I just escaped because I mean David couldn't get the crown. I really wanted to, the crown. I mean, don't be ashamed of George leaving. He was Dali. You had a pretty bad match. Just give him the kill. He deserves it. So right by now, I just had my crown secured. I told Nia to open the, Claude to open the door, he didn't want it to, he waited till the hook so that Gold War didn't kill it. And I just escaped and I had my crown for Nia, literally didn't look for it in the entirety of the match, so yeah, that was pretty much it, not that hard. So I really hope this helped you to get your crown, I mean honestly it isn't really that hard, so... If you think this video was useful and you liked it, share it with people that might be interested in some advice. And yeah, don't forget to leave a like if you liked it. And see my content and maybe subscribe. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>